The slides you're viewing were created with a touch of magic from ChatGPT and PowerPoint, and it only took a few minutes to create. In this video, we'll show you some brilliant ways to harness the power of ChatGPT to make creating your PowerPoint presentations easier, less stressful, along with how to level up your PowerPoint skills. So stick around because we'll show you two ways to create PowerPoint presentations using ChatGPT, and then we'll top things off by showing you how to use ChatGPT to create image prompts that you can then put into an image generator, and that will take your presentations to the next level. Let's get into it. Did you know that you can create PowerPoint presentations with just a few mouse clicks? The way it's done is to leverage Microsoft's programming language, VBA or Visual Basic. This coding language allows you to do pretty much anything you want, ranging from the simple all the way up to really high end tasks. The best part is you don't need to learn any programming because we'll get ChatGPT to write the code for us. To start things off, head over to ChatGPT. And let's say in this case, we want to open our own dog treat store and we need a presentation to pitch the company. So we're going to ask ChatGPT to do something like this. You're an expert in dogs and want to open your own dog treat store. You need to create a PowerPoint presentation about how to pitch the company. So write the VBA code for a PowerPoint presentation and make it 10 slides. Once you're done typing that, just go ahead and click the button and ChatGPT will write the VBA code for you. After ChatGPT is done, just scroll up and click where it says copy code. Now, as a side note, I fully understand that some people may be hesitant to copy VBA code from the web, and we'll address a way to bypass that when we look at the next method of creating presentations. For now, let's keep going. After you copy the code, you can go into PowerPoint, and the first thing you want to do is make sure you see the developer tab, because this is where you're going to end up pasting your code. If you don't see the developer tab, Click File, Options, then Customize Ribbon. And on the right-hand side, just check the box where it says Developer, then click OK, and you'll see it up here. Now, click where it says Developer, and then on the far left-hand side, click Visual Basic. In the window that opens, click Insert, then Module, then Hover, and right-click inside the Module window, and just paste the code from ChatGPT. Next. Go up and click on the play button to run the code. And after the code has been run, you can see that we now have the text for our presentation. So the next phase is to make your presentation look better. And we can do that by using Designer. Designer will make suggestions based off the content of your slide. To use Designer from the Home tab, go over on the far right hand side and click Designer. PowerPoint will then give you a bunch of suggestions. So when you find the one you like, just click on it. And from there, you can move through the rest of your presentation, making the changes that you want. Once you're finished, click on save and you're done. All right, so let's move on and talk about the second method to create your presentations using ChatGPT. In the previous segment, we showed you how to use ChatGPT to write VBA code that will create your presentations for you. Yet, admittedly, some people may not be comfortable copying and pasting code from the web so this time we'll give ChatGPT a prompt that will generate the content of our presentation directly within ChatGPT. Now the secret in getting ChatGPT to cooperate is to write effective prompts. Basically, the more specific and detailed you can be, the better. So for our second example, we'll piggyback off the first example and ask ChatGPT to create an outline for a dog treat store that we want to open. For your convenience, I put all the prompts from this video in the description below if you'd like to use them at a later time. And to make things easier, I'm just going to copy in a prompt and have ChatGPT generate the content. Now at this point, here is where most people would copy the content from ChatGPT and paste the text in a PowerPoint, which could work, but that really leads to a lot of extra work and editing. So here's where we can leverage Microsoft Word to make things easier. So after ChatGPT creates the content of our presentation, select the content and copy it, then open up Microsoft Word and paste everything into a blank document and make sure to choose Merge Formatting. So after you've pasted your content, just go through and edit out anything you don't want, like the slide numbers, any text you don't need, making sure to save your document as well. Okay, so this next step is very important because here is where you make the outline from ChatGPT PowerPoint ready. And the way you do that is to apply headings to your outline. 
These headings will tell PowerPoint where to create the new slides and the content that should be on each slide. And we're going to show you two ways to apply these headings and you can decide which method is best for you. For the first method, we can use the standard word view. And what you want to do is hold down your control key and select all the slide titles. Then go up to the home tab. And then over here, you want to click on and apply heading one. The next step is to select all the bullet points on your slide. And we can use our control click method to do that as well. And once that's completed, we can go up here and click on and apply heading two. Now you'll see where all this comes together when we get into PowerPoint. But for now, let's look at another way to apply headings and that is to use outline view. To get to outline view, you want to go up and click on view. Then over here, click on outline view. And once you're in outline view, hold down your control key and select all of your slide titles. Then in the upper left corner, click the drop down arrow and you want to choose level one. This level one is heading one under a different name. Now as to why, I don't know, but whatever. Okay, getting back on point. After you've applied level one, you want to select the remaining text with a control click and drag. Then go up and click on the drop arrow and apply level two, which is, as you may have guessed, heading two under a different name. Once that's complete, we can close out and save our file. Moving on. The next step is to take the Word document and import it into PowerPoint. You want to start off in a new presentation. Then from the Home tab, click on New Slides and look for Slides from Outline. Then navigate out to the file, click on it. Then just give PowerPoint a moment to convert the file and everything will be imported. Each new slide that you see is based off where Heading 1 was applied. By chance, you have this blank slide up here or an unwanted slide. You can just right click on it and delete it. And just like we saw earlier, we can go ahead and apply designer to make our presentation look better. All right, let's say designer isn't giving you images that you like. So you can use ChatGPT along with some free image generators like Bing and Midjourney to create images that are better suited for your presentation. The way it works is you start by asking ChatGPT to generate some image prompts that are going to fit the theme of your presentation then copy those prompts and then paste them into an image generator. You can then take those images and put them directly into your presentation. Let's see an example. So when we're back in ChatGPT, we can piggyback off our previous example by typing in this prompt, which would be to recommend any images to be included in the slides to improve the visual appeal. Also provide the Bing image creator prompts for the images you suggested. And ChatGPT will generate some prompts now we can copy these prompts and paste them into the image generator of our choice. So for today, let's go over to Bing image generator and we can paste the prompts directly into the bar. Then click on create. Bing image creator will then make some images for us. And if we find one we like, we can just copy it and paste it onto the appropriate slide in our presentation. And the last step is to take the image we copied, apply the designer and make everything look awesome. Then it's just a matter of rinse and repeat for all the remaining slides. And there you have it. Okay, now before you go, in case you are in the market for some awesome PowerPoint presentations, we offer a few that will make you look like an absolute rock star. So please feel free to check those out. Make sure you leave your thoughts below. Feel free to subscribe and don't be shy about sharing this video. All right, and that'll do it for this one. And we will see you next time.